Welcome back to News First on PNC. Did you hear sirens at about 10 this morning? Well, not everyone did because not all of them were working. This was how it was supposed to sound. Alpha Day Guam, this is Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio. Get ready to drop, cover, and hold. Hold on for the great Guam shakeout. This is a test. This is only a test. Three, two, one. Correct. The offices of the Guam Homeland Security and Civil Defense were supposed to test out all 15 of the all hazards alert warning systems for the Great Guam Shakeout Earthquake Drill, but several of the systems did not go off. Homeland Security and Civil Defense Public Information Officer Jenna Gamindi says three of the 15 sirens did not activate during the test. The sites were the Guam Homeland Security in Aganya Heights, the Nico Hotel, and the John F. Kennedy High School systems. Gamindi says since today was the first time all 15 sirens were tested at once, it provided them an excellent opportunity to identify deficiencies. Right now we're working very closely with Radiocom, our vendor, um, to assess all of these problems that happen at each site, kind of fix these areas um, that we need improvement for, and then also to hit the sites that weren't able to hear and kind of put that into our plans when it comes to phase two of this whole um, all hazard alert warning system operation. Gamindi explains phase two will be finding any gaps with the system and areas where the sirens cannot be heard or are faint. Meanwhile, she says the Great Guam Shakeout was a success. We had close to 80,000 participants, um, and it, the numbers just keep growing each year. So we were very uh, lucky to have all of the participants. We had registrants from different schools, elementary schools, even the colleges, and various Gulf Guam organizations, and even our military partners. So it was very exciting. For information on the Great Guam Shakeout, visit shakeout.org slash Guam.